Good morning from Charlotte, North Carolina. It is Sunday, January 18th, 2026, and we are tracking winter weather moving through the Carolinas, or at least trying to. Here's a live look just after this 9 o'clock hour near Thompson, Georgia. So we are just to the west of Augusta, Georgia, because this is where we're beginning to see at this hour the changeover from rain to some winter weather, but you'd be a little hard pressed to actually see it on this traffic camera here. Uh, but the roads could be kind of reaching that freezing point here, and we're going to track out for you in this update when that changeover could happen here in the Carolinas. Let's go out right now to radar, and uh, I can kind of begin to show you where that changeover is taking place to our west, and then we'll track it coming east into the Carolinas and show you who still has a chance of seeing snow because the chances of seeing snow have really dropped over the course of the last day or two. But right now, again, that changeover is happening right on in here. We are just to the west of Augusta, Georgia, and this changeover is going to try to push its way into the Carolinas. Uh, but as you can see right now over the Carolinas, just past this nine o'clock hour, we're all still well on the rain side of things and not yet dealing with a whole lot of wintry precipitation outside maybe a few isolated spots up in the up in the mountains so who's going to see rain who's going to see snow and how much of each are we going to see traffic cameras are going to be our friend today along with the uh, weather cameras we have in our network because radar is wonderful for looking at things uh like precipitation but we really really are going to need that ground truth at the ground to tell us exactly where we are and in a few moments i'm going to show you some temperature profiles that are going to explain why because we are going to be walking that line right there at that freezing mark which means some of us who are hoping for snow aren't going to see it and Maybe some of us will be a little surprised. So let's start with our high rapid refresh model. This is just one computer model because I want to paint a picture for you. And then I'm going to go region by region across the Carolinas to show you who has a chance of seeing snow. So this is simulated radar and it kind of lines up with where we are roughly right now at this nine o'clock hour. And you can see it's really trying to push some of that colder air into the Georgia area. We still could actually see that burst of snow still over portions of uh, south central Georgia and way up in the northeast. But so much of the Carolinas is just on the warm enough sign that our high rapid refresh model this morning really is not showing much snow in the Carolinas. Now, Frank and I on last week's Carolina Weather Group, we talked about different models and every model's wrong and some of the models have a little bit more wrong than others, uh, but somewhere in there is a tidbit of truth. So if you look at the North American model here, the NAM, you can see it tries to take that cold snow belt uh, that kind of generates over south central georgia and then over the course of the couple hours kind of sneak it right back in there to the back end of the rain before it moves out so that does mean that along portions of the i-85 corridor and portions of even the raleigh area we could be seeing some snow if this nam model uh was to come to fruition and uh, i'll show that to you here in just a moment the gfs model which really goes out way into the future so if we only look at the first couple frames here you can see the same thing but it kind of goes real uh ambitious if you will with how much cold air comes into the backside of this and brings even more snow uh to the i-85 corridor into places like columbia into places like charlotte uh but still you can see that's quite a blue area there over raleigh so uh the general consensus because what we look at is consensus amongst the models is that uh ironically enough uh to our south in georgia and even to portions of like the pan handle of florida they're gonna have a better chance of seeing snow uh than some portions here in the carolinas we could see a burst of snow or at least some snow flurries uh, of kind of in that aiken area maybe greenville spartanburg area maybe north of charlotte greensboro raleigh let me break it down for you okay so now we're going to switch from computer models to what the actual human forecasters are putting together looking at all of the information that is available to them i'm going to start with the north carolina map then I'm going to take you over to a South Carolina map, okay? So we're looking right now at maybe a trace of snow uh, from a kind of a belt that extends a little along and north of I-85 into the I-40 corridor. So uh, the National Weather Service here, all the National Weather Service offices across the Carolinas right now, putting maybe a trace of snow in places like Shelby, Hickory, up to Mount Airy, Greensboro, Ashboro, maybe half an inch same thing with raleigh when we zoom in a little bit but you can see so much of the carolinas uh across portions of the piedmont and the sand hills and down to the coast almost nothing what i want to show you is not just how much snow we could get but the probability of seeing that much snow okay so this is the probability of seeing one tenth an inch of snowfall 
essentially a trace of snowfall. And so you can see that the probabilities make things look a little nicer if you're a snow lover because there's a 40% chance in Augusta, a 20% chance in Columbia, a 50% chance in Charlotte, a 70 to 80% chance in Greensboro and in the Raleigh area. So that's just the chance today that you might see a snowflake or two. The odds of that even extend down to Wilmington at 20%. So yes, there's a chance that you might see a passing snowflake or two, but those percentages or that likelihood of it happening really drop off when we ask it what's the chance of seeing one inch of snow well the best chance of seeing one inch of snow in the carolinas may be in the raleigh area where that changeover happens later on kind of that last licks i was showing you there on the forecast model is there a chance we could see one inch of snow in columbia yes but it's down to four percent according to the national weather service despite what some of the models were trying to do late saturday night uh in kind of a last hurrah uh, is there a chance we could see one inch of snow in Charlotte? Yes, it's about 16% chance. So the odds are really that that is unlikely, unlikely to happen. Uh, I promised I'd show you some zoomed in maps. OK, so here's kind of the probability or the uh, the, the snowfall ranges, excuse me, uh, kind of zoomed in here on South Carolina. You can see maybe a trace to half an inch along the 85 corridor trace to half an inch in the Augusta corridor, really not officially calling for a whole lot of snow in places like Columbia or Sumter or Florence because it's just not likely to happen. Could it happen? Yes. Yes, it could. That would really put the system kind of on, again, that overachieving mark. Uh, so here are the probabilities right now across South Carolina of seeing that trace or that one tenth an inch of snow. And there is a chance that we could see in most south carolina a few snow flurries but as you've seen a lot of it is going to be rain and and experience tells us that when rain comes first and the cold air is chasing the precipitation trying to get that down to 32 degrees can be real challenging we look at the temperature profiles across the region okay so this is actually right there in the augusta georgia area because that's where we're watching that changeover happen in first this morning you can see right on up here temperatures are still in the mid to low 30s right we need to get them closer down to 32 to get all of that column of air from the top to the bottom nice and cold so really calling for maybe 0.2 inches of snow but again that kind of really is minor compared to the amount of rain that is going to really have an easier time working its way through this system uh, here is Columbia, South Carolina's temperature profiles for today. Again, temperatures in the 40s is not conducive to snow. Uh, and so trying to get snow in, it's not even really officially in the forecast. If we do see snow falling in Columbia, it's because something has overachieved. Again, that's like a one in 10 chance that we get that kind of like overperformance of snow in the Columbia area. Um, closer look here, you can see that 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 band. And we've we've kind of seen a band in all of the model runs since last Wednesday, but it moves a uh, location and it also moves intensity. So at one point, this little band that is now really just calling for maybe a trace to half an inch of snow at one point days ago, you may have saw it over Columbia and Rockingham uh, and, and it was calling for three to four or five inches of snow, right? So this is that same band, but it is weakened and it is moved. Uh, so on the Sunday, we're calling for a trace to half an inch of snow along the, again, 85 corridor, and then maybe portions up to I-40 by Hickory, Statesville. Uh, but again, you can just start to see right up here in the top right uh, where Greensboro works into this picture. So I'm going to show that to you here in, in just a moment. Uh, Charlotte Douglas International Airport temperature profiles where I am again. The temperatures are going to struggle to get low enough to support real solid snow. We could see some mixed precipitation out there. Uh, and that is something that all of us uh, or a lot of us across the Carolinas will need to keep an eye on because anything that falls today, whether it's rain or snow or sleet, um, you know, temperatures are going to freeze during the overnight hours into Monday. So whether you see it or not and whether you see a lot of it or not, the roads could still be icy in some places. So again, there's a little burst of snow possible in that Charlotte forecast, but it's mostly going to be rain because the temperatures are just simply not cold enough. Okay, so let's start working our way now into portions of central North Carolina. You can see Mount Airy, Clemens, maybe a trace, Greensboro, maybe up to half an inch of snow. Uh, but again, I want to show you the probability because this, I think, really 
helps convey the chances of seeing snow, not just how much, but what are the chances that that actually plays out. So here are the percentages, the chances of seeing a trace one tenth of an inch of snow. And you can see the odds are pretty good for seeing snow in Clemens and Greensboro and Chapel Hill, Henderson, those places all have 75 to 80% chance of seeing snow. I will get us a closer look at Raleigh here in just a moment. Um, what are the chances that we get one inch of snow? Well, it's funny. It's actually better to the east than in the mountains because you can see Boone has completely fallen off when I ask it for what the chances of seeing one inch of snow. The chances in Greensboro, 30%. The chances in Chapel Hill, oh, flippable coin, about 48%. So let's work our way over to uh, to Raleigh in just a moment. Here are the temperature profile profiles for today in Greensboro, and you can see they are colder than some of our other locations, 35 degrees. Of course, we all know that for real solid snow, we could be at 32 or below. So the odds are still, as we've seen, the odds are odds. There's a chance that this could go one way or the other, but we could see again somewhere between a trace and half an inch of snow in the greater Greensboro area, just if we get enough of that cold air to mix on in. Now, Raleigh, Raleigh, you are really, you're kind of actually keeping me on the edge of my seat, Raleigh, because again, officially, officially, what we're calling for is a trace of snow in the Raleigh area. That seems most likely to happen. But there's this one in 10 chance that the system overperforms and just enough cold air sneaks in towards the end of the system that really gives you maybe a little burst of snow right here on the end. So again, the chances of seeing one tenth of an inch of snow or a trace are solidly in the majority from Winston-Salem, Greensboro, down I-40 in the 85 corridor. And then again, about 75% in places like Raleigh, Pittsburgh, Smithfield, Goldsboro is even coming in at 70%. Um, you can see 68% in Greenville, North Carolina. The odds do drop off as you get closer to the coast because you can see just down here towards the bottom of the map, you know, Jacksonville still falls down 43%. New Bern falls down to 27%. Again, this is the chance of seeing one tenth of an inch of snow. So if you're hoping for snow in places like Roxborough, you're looking pretty good at seeing some snow. And if I ask it for one inch snowfall chances, again, we're at about a flip of a coin in Raleigh, Durham this morning. It's 930 right now as I'm talking to you. And so that seems to be the best chance of seeing a one inch snow total is in the greater Raleigh metro area in the triangle, believe it or not. Uh, how much are our chances of seeing two inches of snow? Like, are we really overachieve? Well, 20 percent Raleigh Durham. Those are some of the highest chances of seeing that two inch percent. Yes, there are thumbnails up here across the top of the screen for four inches, but that's like a six percent chance in Raleigh. Right. So that really falls off. So don't get locked in so much on the numbers and the depth and the accumulations i really want to try to convey to, uh, to with you this morning the chances of seeing snow and then we can kind of give probabilities based on that of what those accumulations might look like part of the reason that raleigh is going to have a chance is because you can see that changeover is happening a little bit later in the afternoon which means they've got a little bit more time before that changeover before that rain moves out, they're further to the east, right? So as that rain is moving through, they're they're gonna kind of they're gonna hold on to it a little longer than places to the west, and that allows, of course, us to get later into the day. So we start to see temperatures that are like thirty four degrees, thirty one degrees by seven p.m., and that's gonna allow some of that snow to work its way into those areas. Uh, some of the coastal profiles here again, um, calling for maybe a trace in some spots along the I-95 corridor. Wouldn't expect to see a whole lot in Elizabeth City or the Outer Banks, but those probabilities, again, of seeing that trace amount, Wilson, 72%, Windsor, 66%. Elizabeth City could see maybe, maybe a little bit of a trace, but Kitty Hawk, look at this, down to 9% by the time you get over towards the water there, right? So 1% chance, uh, or excuse me, the, uh, the chances here of seeing the one-inch snowfall amounts, you can really see that Raleigh map we were just, looking at here for the most part, but I did want to get people in Elizabeth City and out towards Kitty Hawk and those in the northeast portions of North Carolina. Uh, this here is your chance of seeing one inch of snow uh, fairly low as you make your way out towards the ocean. Um, if you're watching me right now from the greater Moorhead City area, 
yeah, it's uh, so nice for you to join me. Um, unless you are closer to I-95, <laughs> you're not going to see much in the way of snow. New Bern has a 30% chance, 27% chance of seeing a trace amount. Jacksonville, North Carolina, again, as we mentioned, about 43%. But if you're right there on the water, North Topsail Beach, about 18%. Moorhead City, percent. If you're out towards Hatteras or Danthe, I don't think this is going to be your system. Uh, really kind of uh, coming in with big zeros as we make our way further to the south along that coastal region, Myrtle Beach, Georgetown. Sorry, guys. Uh, again, your chance of seeing 0.1%, 0.1%. One inch of snow, they're very low. Maybe a few flakes will work their way on in. Um, same thing as, of course, as you make your way down towards Charleston and Beaufort. Uh, it's, it's probably not too surprising that we're not seeing much snow right now in 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 that coastal South Carolina region. But, but again, it is it is peculiar that we are seeing snow chances to the east of Charleston, right? Which brings us back around to where we started. Snow amounts in South Central Georgia they almost have a better chance there than other places. Uh, what a peculiar, peculiar time. So um, we're watching again for that changeover to happen. Here's a look right now at a traffic camera right there along I-20 in the uh, essentially the greater Augusta, Georgia area. We're over towards Thompson here. Um, I don't necessarily see. Well, actually, there might be some snow. Is my mouse cursor still on the screen? There might be uh, some snow right here on this little uh, this little berm, this little bank. There's some white there. Um, and so uh, we'll watch cameras across North Carolina and South Carolina today. We have a product for you on our YouTube channel. It's called the Carolina Weather Net. Real-time weather conditions, sky cams, alerts from the Weather Service, updated forecasts. It's going to be the best way to get a view on the ground across the Carolinas and help you track. Because remember, we love radar, and radar does have a precipitation depiction, but... Radar is happening up in the sky, several thousand feet above your head. The only way for us to know what's going on on the ground is with you and cameras. So we're going to be watching today for snow reports that you send us on social media. We're going to be watching for MPing reports, and you can see those MPing reports. These are volunteers across the region that are reporting in. It's important to know, like this person did in Columbia, that it is is raining there that is valid data that we need to know mping reports right now at about the 9 30 hour here in the uh, greater augusta area starting to show us that mixed rain that mixed snow that mixed precipitation type that wintry mix but we did get a solid snow report coming in here at about 9 a.m 8 58 a.m from the washington georgia area saying that there was snow or grapple occur occurring there and same thing down towards milledgeville so uh MPing is a great way. Social media is a great way. And don't forget to send in your Coco Ross reports at the end of the day so we know exactly what fell across the region. If you're watching me right now on YouTube, we're going to take you over to our Carolina weather net. You're going to be transferred over automatically so that you can keep a close eye on what's happening across the region. And if you're watching me on Facebook or another platform, I hope you'll come join us over in the Carolina Weather Group YouTube channel for real-time weather conditions throughout the day. And, of course, our weekly weather podcast each Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. But for now, from Charlotte, I'm James Briarton. Stay warm, be well, and talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.